Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makarkadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim scattered the four points of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson. Another sit down lesson I want to bring out from MSN.com. This was uh, recently. This was published by Patrick Hills Hillsman uh, three hours ago from UPINews.com. Uh, and it reads U.S. sends cruise missile armed submarine to Red Sea, uh, amending rising Iranian tensions. And keep this in mind as well, too. You know, with the recent deployment of the uh, submarine machines. Uh, from Russia as well too right along the Mediterranean Sea in the uh, uh, the Black Sea as well too as the United States was on high alert on that as well too so you have the you know the tensions between Russia and the United States as well too right along with Iran versus the United States as well too so you know I just want to add a note to that as well too we'll continue on with the reading I'm going to read it again for edification sake of this uh, sit down lesson it says, uh, the United States sends cruise missile armed submarine to Red Sea, amending rising tensions, or amending rising Iran tensions. Because <coughs> it says, uh, as of April 8, the UPI reads, the U.S. Navy revealed Saturday it has recently, it has sent a submarine armed with dozens of cruise missiles. This came, it's kind of similar to uh, what Russia did. Uh, what their, uh, uh, what the uh, yellow, uh, I mean the Black Sea, where they be at, they had uh, deployed, you know, cruise missiles, submar submarines, right along with the deployment of cruise missiles as well too, kind of similar to that. And I'm reading again. It says the U.S. Navy reveals Saturday it has sent a submarine armed with dozens of cruise missiles to the Middle East as tensions with Iran escalate. And right, and keep this in mind too, I would say like two weeks ago, you had the uh, military exercise drills between the allies of uh, China, Russia, and Iran as well too, right along the Saudi Gulf over there in the Middle East of, uh, I believe it's that country of Oman over there in the Middle East, not too long ago. So that shows you the increasing uh, tensions between Iran versus Israel, Russia versus the uh, United States, and and that's that's you know and that's why we continually start to see it increase even more and more and more. You know? But I'm continuing on with the reading, so you just you know I just want to add an extra note to that as well too. It says the uh, military announced that the uh, USS Florida began traveling through the Seas Canal from. The Mediterranean Sea on Friday. On Saturday, the U.S. Navy released a photo of the submarine traversing the uh, Susie Canal en route to the Red Sea. And to keep this in mind, too, I believe that uh, not too long ago that the, uh, Iran, either I, I believe it was Iran, had uh, warned off the uh, U.S. Uh, cruise ship, submarine ship as well, too. So that's why I uh, guess that that announcement came after that, not too long ago, after Iran blew off and warned the, uh, you know, the warship of the United States to uh, further to a different location. So I just want to add a note to that as well, too. That's another reason why tensions are escalating between Iran and the United States as well, too. And I'm going to read it again. It says the mil the military announced that the USS Florida began traveling through the Suez Canal from the Mediterranean Sea on Friday. On Saturday, the U.S. Navy released a photo of the submarine traversing the uh, Suez Canal en route to the Red Sea. It says uh, the submarine is equipped to carry up to 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles who can launch from the, from the sea. And it says, uh, continuing on with the reading, it says, uh, Tim Hawkins, a spokesperson of the U.S. Central Control Command, says the USS Florida will join the U.S. fleet 
uh, Fifth Fleet, I meant to say, to ensure the regional maritime security and stability. Your Iranian backed military and U.S. forces have exchanged fire in Syria several times in the uh, past weeks. It says in March, uh, an Iranian. An Iranian drone killed a U.S. contractor and wounded five soldiers at the U.S. military facility in Syria. Providence, the U.S. launched airstrikes in the Iranian late military facilities in Syria in retaliation. It says in March, the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told the uh, Senate Armed Service Committee in the Iranian backed forces have attacked the US forces 83 times in the past two years. Right, because you have uh, United States soldiers are stationed within Iraq, throughout that region of Iraq and uh, in Syria as well, too. Just like not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, that uh, drone attack, which is the Iranian, I mean, which is the uh, military soldiers were stationed at with some other uh, groups that they are allies with as well too in that region because you have the Houthi rebels down there and the Iranian backed forces as well too that's allies with Iran so that's why you, you see those recent escalations with the past uh, two or three weeks as well so you know so that's why the tensions between the United States and Iran is going to continue to increase as you see this latest article says right here it says U.S. sends cruise missiles armed submarine to the Red Sea amending Iranian tensions and you know that goes into the scriptures of uh, continual increasing of wars and rumors of wars which I'm about to bring out in Matthew 24 and 6 This is from BibleGateway.com, from the KJV version of the Holy Scriptures. And this is uh, Matthew 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right, that's a rumor of war. Of the United States going to uh, deploy their uh, sub submarine machine missile right along with cruise missiles as well, too. Right along the uh, Mediterranean Sea, as tensions between Iran and Israel I mean, Iran and the United States continues to escalate. So that's a what you call a rumor of war right there. And I'm going to read it again. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Right. Because it's going to escalate even more and more and more. Because you're going to see wars and rumors of wars at an all-time high in the latter days. And it's going to continue to increase. And I'm going to verse 7. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation. Right, that's what we're seeing. Iran against the uh, United States uh, escalating tensions. You know, the ongoing escalation tensions are going to start to increase more and more. Uh, I'm reading it again. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. For there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, Matthew 24 and 8. All of these are beginning of sorrows, right? Because these are the beginning stages of increasing wars and rumors of wars, of increasing nation against nation, the kingdom against kingdom, you know? So that goes into all these are the beginning of sorrows because these are the beginning stages of these nations going to have continual increasing escalation between one another. And a prime example is the United States versus Iran, you know? So with that, this was a sit-down lesson that I want to bring out. Of this uh, recent news from uh, MSN.com, uh, UPI, uh, UPI.com as well too. As it states once again, it says uh, U.S. sends cruise missile armed submarine to Red Sea, amending rising tensions. So with that. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. 
Yes, shall one to the Akim once again, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Christian words, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And with that, I will say, uh, shalom.